as God has helped us to see this month of uh, August, we have one good assignment this morning. In the month of great mercy, that's God's word to us. That this month is a month of what? Great mercy. Someone say great mercy. Great mercy. Come and say, Lord, show me your great mercy. But the greatest response to great mercy is thanksgiving. For his good. Why is God good? Because his mercy endures forever. That's why it's good. That's why it's good. God is not just good. There's something provoking, moving him to be good. And the Bible identified that as what? His mercy. His mercy. God's mercy is so great. That God's mercy keeps God in his goodness. You and I enjoy God's goodness. You and I experience God's goodness because God is merciful. Everything that God is doing, the reason why he's doing them is because his mercy endures forever. So if you see anything happen in your life, it's not you. It's not because you are better than others. It's not because you are smarter. It's not because you are of a better upbringing. It's because what? His mercy endured forever. The food on our table is there only because His mercy endures forever. No other reason. So I want to encourage you in this month of great mercy to be telling you whatever I have is because your what? Your mercy endured forever. Remind yourself. Tell it to your family. Let your friends know. The only reason why I'm where I am today is because what? His mercies endured forever. So what do we do this month? Every day, His mercy appears. Every day, I must give thanks. And say, Father, for allow me to see another day. I thank you because your mercy endures forever. Rise to your feet, everybody, and lift up your hands and thank him. That Lord, because your mercy endures forever, I am here to bless your name.